Happy Wednesday. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News at Noon. Breck's biggest cash cow keeps on giving. Through September, the town's short-term rental industry is worth $242 million, generating nearly $19 million in tax revenue. That is 17% more than ever before and good for nearly half of all town tax revenue. Every last vote has been tallied, and the biggest of three liquor bills this election passed just barely. Proposition 125 for wine sales and grocery stores passed by 28,000 votes, roughly 1%. Rural voters, including Summit, tended to reject the measure. Front Range voters tended to support it. The other two liquor bills officially failed, including one for home delivery. This also spells the end for to-go cocktails at restaurants. That expires in summer 2025. The delivery bill would have protected it. Condé Nast Traveler is ranking its best ski areas in North America and missing from the list for the first time since 2017 is Vail Mountain. Beaver Creek, Keystone, and Breckenridge are on there. Copper is not. Number one goes to Whistler Blackcomb. The Vail Daily reports this fall from grace is making town officials nervous. Says one council member, there's not anybody in this entire organization that doesn't want Vail to be number one. Vail Chamber and Vail Resorts quickly chirped back, saying these rankings are fun for public relations, but... They have little impact on the bottom line. Skiers will still come to Vail. Summit Huts Association just finished a months-long remodel of the most popular backcountry hut in Colorado, Francie's Cabin in the woods south of Breck. Francie's gets a remodeled kitchen, efficient lighting, new flooring, and space for two more beds. Most summer work crews have left for winter, except for crews at Goose Pasture Tarn, south of Breck. Crews are still pouring concrete for the new dam there. They should be finished by early next month and back at it next spring for one last season of work. That dam was critically failing. A breach could have caused catastrophic flooding in downtown Breck. Breck Freeride is just a few background checks away from having enough winter drivers, but even that will not get service back to pre-pandemic levels. They need 41 drivers for that. At most, they expect to hire 35. Local avalanche danger is moderate again today above tree line in Summit County and the Vale area. Your problems are still persistent slab and wind slab. New snow tonight will mostly be minimal, but winds will be strong tomorrow, especially above tree line. Watch for wind loading into the weekend. In sports, the Nuggets lost to the Pistons last night, 110-108. to Today, the Nuggets play the Thunder at 6. The Avalanche face the Canucks at 8. And in local sports, brought to you by Cassandra Schultz & Associates with American Family in Dillon. Tomorrow is the Turkey Day 5K through the streets of South Frisco. The town's expecting up to 1,500 runners. Be ready for closures and race traffic from 9 to 11 a.m. You can still sign up today in person at 3 p.m. at the Old Community Center on 3rd Street. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.